Good evening, everybody. This is Ms. Menendez, and I figured that I would um, use technology once again to explain how to use the Essential Elements interactive software um, and take advantage of the technology that we have nowadays. So some students have been uh, confused with a few things, and I'm here to clear that up. I'm here to also just simply show you the fastest and easiest way to record your assignment and to turn it in. This is a new software. I'm new to it. You guys are new to it. Everyone's new to it. So I thank you uh, in advance for your patience as we all are figuring this out. So if you go to EssentialElementsInteractive.com, the back of the student's band book actually has the uh, website there. So if you ever forget what it is, they do have that website there. Now, if I can remember my password, it's usually one, two, three, four, but let's see. Okay, so I'm a student. I made a fake student account. My name is Marie Menendez, and if you look here, it shows that you have an assignment that is due. So I can click on my assignments, click on it, and here it's going to give the instructions for what to do with the assignment. To make it short, you have a piece to pass off, and I have a video to watch. To watch the video, I would click right here on this purple icon and it's going to pop it up or you can watch that video and then to pass off the assignment you click here where the little microphone is on 8th note jam. When you click on that this is where you the students would typically read off of their computer and play along. They can change the background to a rock bee or piano or dance which is really cool to practice with. When the students are passing it off for their assignment I ask that they turn the background to either none or to metronome. Okay, Metronome will keep a, a pulse for them and that is what I do prefer. So I'm gonna click on metronome because I'm gonna get ready to record it and then even though I am let's say a trombone player today I ask the students to switch the instrument to keyboard. That way when they play I hear more of them and less of the computer. A side note, students if you have headphones it will be very useful. If you can plug in your headphones while recording this you will hear the metronome in your ear and you will hear the keyboard playing in your ear and you can match it. That way on the actual recording that the computer picks up I only hear your sound. Okay, so. I have the metronome going, I have the instrument that's a keyboard. Now remember, let's say I was a trombone player, I can't read this music because this is keyboard music. That is why I ask the students to face their music stand or face their band book and not face the computer. If you face the computer, the sound is too much for uh, standard computers and it tends to distort the sound. Now one thing that everyone needs to pay attention to is right over here. We have a microphone and it says levels. If you will just turn this, the microphone level down, it will stop the sound from distorting. A lot of us have it up all the way. That makes the microphone too sensitive. So I would push it down quite a bit, and that should help to make the recordings a lot clearer. Some of you have already turned in assignments, and I've asked you to re-record it. If you will turn the levels down here, I think that will make it uh, a lot better. So I'm going to pretend to record it, even though I don't have an instrument. It's going to give me a uh, count off and then we can just pretend right now that I'm recording it even though I don't have my instrument out. So let's say that I recorded the assignment, pretend it went all the way through, I repeated the line twice. Down here it shows the take. That was take one. If I'd like to, I can play it and I can listen to how it sounds. If I'm okay with it, I can save it. If I'm not okay with it, I can just get rid of it. All of your saved recordings, I'll show you, save take one, they go here, saved recordings over on the left. So let's say on, on Monday I tried a couple takes, you know, and then on Tuesday I got a good one in, On you know, today I got one in. I can listen to all of them, and the one that I think is my best shot is the one that I will submit to Ms. Menendez. So you can see I already did that here in an earlier demonstration, but I can just click Submit and it will send Ms. Menendez the assignment. Okay. If you have any questions, if you have problems logging into your account, please contact me. I will answer right away. I will reset your account if I have to. 
once again, the most important thing to do is to alter the microphone level. Okay, bring it down. Switch your instrument to keyboard. Wear headphones if possible. That's the best option. And once you're done, you save your recordings to submit the one that you want me to grade. I'm very proud of the students that have been proactive and have uh, turned in their assignment already. I've given them comments. When you turn in an assignment, you'll get a comment back from me and I'll tell you what, what was great and what you could possibly work on to make it better. Um, please, please, please email me with your questions. My email is maria.menendez at carrolltoncityschools.net. Have a fantastic rest of your weekend, and if you're watching this on Monday, I hope your Monday was great. Thank you.